Hi, this is Gene Bosler. I'm at my home in Cypress, Texas. I'm facing south. I'm on the east side of my house and the wind comes up the street towards me. Um, this is one of many spots where the wind is pretty decent. Okay, so first let me start by saying I am actively in search of generous donations of an alternator, preferably an Amatech, but I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take anything. I just want to try to connect this thing up to an alternator. So, um, I originally got this idea because I was looking for a way to good gear ratio. I have no idea if the gear ratio is correct. I guess it depends on whether or not it's a low RPM alternator or a high RPM alternator. On this particular uh, um, design, this is like my first design here, I'm catching a lot of resistance on the back side of the spin from these. This is a wall of resistance coming up here. So, I, I, you know, this is just slapping this together. I got the idea to use the buckets from uh, Hydro Power Tube. That's the name of the YouTube channel, Hydro Power Tube. He's got 12 buckets, but there's definitely an issue with wind resistance on that backside. Um, Marlo Jane is taking a nap, but we, so as soon as she wakes up, I'm going to run to the office and we'll get a bigger diameter piece of plywood and maybe do eight pieces, cut it into an octagon since I don't have a saw to cut it into a circle. Um, so this is a two foot diameter piece of plywood. Now, there's another guy on YouTube who has taken a bike and laid it on its side and used this configuration to uh, increase the RPMs on his generator and that's J.A. Luther. J.A. Luther has a Savonia style J.A. Luther has a Savonius style uh, vertical turbine which is two 55 gallon drums cut in half and configured in an S uh, pattern on a vertical axis. He has his laid down on the other side however whereas uh, my, uh, my configuration here has the bicycle with the uh, left side facing up he has his with the right side facing up. He has removed this pedal crank and mounted his Savonius blades directly onto these um, gears. Um, whereas I, when I purchased this bicycle off of Craigslist, I, you know, I was specifically looking for these removable cranks, but I didn't realize that. Um, this left uh, right foot crank is attached to these gears. And so I turned the bike over and I removed the left pedal and crank. And you'll see that this is a hub that I purchased from um, off of eBay from windynation.com. This is great. Uh, this was, you know, I had no idea how I was going to do this. So this is a 16 millimeter hub and it reduces to half inch. Came with a lock washer and a lock nut. Um, I was afraid that being properly threaded and my configuration being in a uh, counter threaded direction that it was going to work its way loose, but so far that hasn't happened. And it doesn't look like it's threatening to happen. So uh, one of my blades is catching right there. See that? Bang. 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 All right, I'm going to have to address that when I'm done recording. Okay, so, you know, my original idea was to figure out some way to attach the the um, alternator to this axle here. 
But then I got to thinking, wait a minute, why not, you know, how does a Ferris wheel work? A Ferris wheel works with pneumatic tires. They make the Ferris wheel turn around. And so I thought, why not take and leave this tire on here, okay, and attach a, a tire of a smaller diameter to the hub of the generator and get that spinning against it. And then I thought, okay, so I, I mentioned this to my neighbor at the office, Donald, who's a, um, a beautiful mind in his own right, and he said, why not a um, skateboard wheel? And I'm like, that's perfect. So here's what I'm planning on doing here. If you imagine me uh, getting rid of this brake assembly and mounting uh, my alternator right here with a skateboard wheel directly mounted to the hub and so that this this is rubbing up against that skateboard wheel like that causing it to spin that's my idea of course I would like this spinning at greater greater RPMs than it is right now but I need to address this wind resistance on the back side of the spin and get some better, more aerodynamic blades for my prime mover. But that's another issue altogether. So, you know, I'm, I'm soliciting a advice about, you know, how to, A, how to get the, the skateboard wheel, which accepts a much smaller diameter axle, onto the shaft of the, of the uh, alternator. I'm thinking of, you know, how I'm going to keep that cinched up at the proper tension up against the, the tire here. I also am going to need to measure how much additional resistance that creates. Okay, so we've got a pretty good wind going here, but imagine if I didn't have so much backside resistance over here. Imagine if I had eight blades instead of four. Um, even 12, like um, I direct your attention to hydropowertube. Dot, uh, hydropowertube. Uh, he's got a 12-bladed rig mounted on plywood. So info at wideworldoftrees.com. I also have a, a voicemail hotline. It's 262-724-6701. Please leave me a voicemail or send me an email if you've got a hot lead on a generator or something sitting in your garage that you think might work. I'd be willing to pay for the shipping. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm accepting generous donations also for a uh, skateboard wheel. And I'm going to go ahead and leave you with this for a couple of minutes. I don't know the wind speed. I've ordered a, um, on eBay, I've ordered a um, one of those optical RPM meters for 20 bucks. I hope it works. hope it does what I need it to do. the uh, saw that I used to cut the, the buckets. I eyeballed it. And yeah, I think I'm really getting a lot of backside resistance on this. Uh, so, uh, comments on alternator, mounting the alternator, mounting the skateboard, mounting the entire bicycle onto a sturdier platform. Um, waterproof in the alternator is a bridge I intend to cross when I come to it. I'm nowhere near that far along yet. I mean waterproofing the alternator. So I've got a couple of uh, alternators on my watch list. 
one's in Canada and I'm not crazy about paying $35 for the shipping but uh, beggars can't be choosers I need an alternator and I need a better design on my prime mover on my blades stay tuned for more thank you